Bante, could you please elaborate more about the chitta, emotional mind? What is emotional mind? And what is the manu, the thinking mind? And what is the difference between the chitta and manu? Ah. Thank you. Well, uh, I have to. We have to start by realizing that we are what are called organisms in an environment. Our body is like a machine. The body is an organism in an environment. So when we talk about the mind, mind is not a thing separate from the body. What we call the mind is an activity of the body. And in modern scientific terminology, We, we have uh, three words that the Buddha used. Chitta, Mano and Vijnana. Now our body is made of five senses. The eyes, the ears, the nose, the tongue and the body itself as a sense organ. When light falls on the eye, we see. When sounds come into the ear, we hear. Smells coming to the nose, we smell. Taste coming to the tongue, we taste. And touch coming to the body, we feel the touch. These are the senses which are stimulated by the environment and the senses react to the stimulus. And this reaction of the senses to the stimulus is what is called seeing, hearing, Smelling, tasting, touching. And these things have a name called perception. Eye perception, ear perception, nose perception, tongue perception, body perception. That perception the Buddha called Vijnana, the word that the Buddha used was Vijnana. Vijnana is the perception. Now what is perceived is carried to the brain through nerves. The optic nerve carries messages from the eye to the brain. The auditory nerve carries messages from the ear to the brain. Olfactory nerve carries messages from the nose to the brain. And so on, there are nerves carrying, which are like telephone wires, carrying messages from the senses to the brain. And the brain, there is a part of the brain called the cerebrum or the cerebral cortex that does the thinking. 
that is what the Buddha called Mano. What the Buddha called Mano is that thinking part of the brain. And the thinking part gives meaning to what was seen or heard or smelt or tasted or touched. And according to the meaning given an emotion is aroused in the form of a desire or hatred or fear or worry these are emotional excitements that emotional arousal is the chitta so the chitta is the emotional arousal but the, the arousal is called chitta vega Avega means the emotional arousal. But the emotion, the emotional state is what we call in English the mood or the temperament. That is the emotional state. So the emotional state can be excited or it can be calm and tranquil. Normally the emotions are calm, but when it is excited, there is a desire or a hatred or a fear or a worry. And when the emotions are excited, that that is expressed in action, in speech or in behavior. That action part is what is called karma or karma. What is called karma is the behavior part. Now, in this behavior part, there is a difference between the animals and the human being. Now, for example, a dog. When some stranger comes, the dog will begin to bark. Now, the human being has this ability to think and decide whether to act emotionally with anger or fear or you can also act calmly and talk to the stranger. So that ability is for the human being and that ability is what is called chetana or willpower. The human being has this willpower or chetana and this is why the Buddha said the real karma is in that chetana, the decision that you make before you begin to act. Hmm? 